Hello, hello, and welcome to the All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. My name is Judy, and I am your hostess with the mostess. If this is your first time at the All Fired Up Crafting Lounge, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. Place your orders with your waitresses for something to drink. As usual, I'm going to have my watermelon water. It's a scorcher out there, kids. And if you are a returning patron to the All Fired Up Crafting Lounge, welcome back. We love seeing your smiling little faces here. Come on in. Let the maitre d' seat you. He'll take your drink orders for you. And don't forget to tip your waitresses on your way out this evening. With that being said, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like the content, hit that thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell notification down there so you can get notified every single time I do a video. And as you can see, it is August 1st. That means it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Today, I am doing a whip and chat with my August-themed project, hashtag SummerFun22. Uh, this is with my twin sister Debbie from Debbie Gets Crafty here on YouTube. Don't forget to head on over to her channel. Check out some of her content. She gives you a giggle. Um, leave her a like, subscribe to her channel, comment on what on some of her videos, and tell her that Judy from All Fired Up Crafting Lounge sent you. And trust me, you won't regret it. Uh, also, Debbie and I have a Facebook page called Sassy Crafting Sisters where we encourage anyone to post their projects, their crafts, what they like to work on. That can be diamond painting, that could be painting uh, rocks, that could be wood burning. If you write music, leave a video with a song that you've written. Um, all we ask is that you're kind when you, when you make comments. Um, let me tell you, our crafty friends over at Sassy Crafting Sisters on Facebook... They're a great group of people, and we really appreciate everybody. And again, this is for hashtag SummerFun22. And I got this from Amazon, and it is 5 o'clock somewhere with my little parrot lounging with his cocktail and several more cocktails down at the bottom. Got this painting from Amazon. It is a 12 inch by 16 inch and it's got uh, 22 colors and it's got a legend on the bottom right and the top left. It is numbers and letters and as you can tell the drill field is Amazing. I'm going to bring you up a little bit. Look at that drill field. That, I'm telling you, it's an, it, absolutely amazing. The drill field. I love it. I don't think I'm going to have any difficulties with this painting. So I have a seat. And we're going to get started here. Whoa. Didn't mean to rock your world like that, folks. Sorry. Still getting the um, video thing down. So, how is everybody? I think I'm going to work up in this corner right here. Um, oh, before I get started, I wanted to show you my leaf tray that I'm using from Everyday Ideals. The pen that I am using right now from Amazon. I'm only using this because I have... I already have it loaded with glue dots, so, but I will be breaking out my pen from Edward and Elizabeth at Enablers Outpost. I'm sure y'all saw that Saturday when I gave a reveal, and I have my drills in my beautiful pink case that my twin sister Debbie got me, and they're all in these nice little bottles, so that's what I'll be working out of. And she got that from Amazon also. So, 
Is everybody staying cool out there? Let me tell you, it, like I said at the beginning, has been a scorcher. Um, I don't know about you, I'm not a fan at all of the heat. So, I'm also using a cover minder from Just Minder Business. That's from Scarlet's Little Crafty Corner. She has an Etsy shop. And Elizabeth and Edward from Enablers Outpost have a shop as well at enablersoutpost.com. They sell pens and they sell diamond paintings and things like that. So I like to support small businesses. So there you go. My shout out for two of my favorite small businesses. Um... Don't mind me, I'm going to have another sip of my water. So it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy past couple of weeks. I don't know if you guys have caught the lives on Saturday that Debbie and I have been doing on here on YouTube. We alternate uh, whose channel it's going to be on. Uh, one week it'll be on my channel, like this past Saturday was my channel. And then next Saturday it's going to be on Debbie's channel, Debbie Gets Crafty. Um, let me tell you, what a blast we've been having. So, so much fun. Thanks to all who participate. We absolutely adore doing this. We've had a blast. We are pretty transparent, I think anyway. Um, you know, people ask questions or whatever, and, and we've, we've answered them and what a blast we have in the chat. Holy cow. Um, and we really appreciate those of you who have joined us. Um, as far as I know, we'll be doing another one this coming Saturday, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on Debbie's channel. Debbie gets crafty. So please, if you have a few moments, stop on by. This past Saturday, we had to cut it short, which broke my heart because I was having a lot of fun. But I was also trying to cook a, a meal for my husband and my son. Uh, my son's here right now. And um, he doesn't request a whole lot of food. Um, so when he does, I do try to oblige, and he wanted homemade meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So, and let me tell you, if I tell you it's been years since I've made meatloaf and mashed potatoes, it seriously has been. In fact, I think it made, I, last time I made it, it was for him as well. So, uh, I, if you joined our live last Saturday, you would have seen me bopping in and out, uh, going to check the meatloaf and the potatoes. And so that's why I had to cut Saturday short. But hopefully we'll be able to um, do a little bit of a longer one this coming Saturday on Debbie's channel. I don't know. All I can say is this much. Every single time we get done with a live, we one of us calls the other one and we're like, we had so much fun. And everybody who was there, and we and we talk about you know their channels and everything. Um, I can tell you some of our regulars are um, Sharon from Pencil Surprises, and Lynn from Diamond Grandma. Helen is always there. Becca pops in. If I'm missing anybody, oh Elizabeth and and Edward from Enablers Outpost, they were there. Um, this past Saturday, and if I'm missing anybody, I do apologize. My brain is a little foggy. I did just get out of work, so I am happy to say that inventory is now over with. I don't know how our numbers did. All I know is I did my best. So let me tell you folks, I am loving this canvas right now, not only because the drill field is so stinking clear, but it's got some serious stick to it, and I like that. I like that a lot. The um, 
The canvas is a nice canvas, very sturdy. Not rough, but not too soft either. Um, so, and, and I know that the stick is good because the plastic on it that's covering the glue is a stiffer kind of plastic. So, I, it's been, for me anyway, my experience that when the plastic on it is a little bit thicker, that means that the glue is really on there very well. It, they, and it's good glue too. Now, I have a little secret to share with everybody. Shh, don't tell anyone. But this was not the original painting that I was going to do uh, for our event. Hashtag SummerFun22. It's not. I had already purchased another painting for that project. <sighs> Ask me how I did it. I lost said painting. And when I say I lost, I mean nowhere to be found at all. Ripped my craft room apart looking for it. In and out, upside down. Could not find it. So I popped on over to Amazon because lo and behold, of course leave it to me and Debbie can attest to this and I'm sure she will. I leave everything to the last minute. So... I literally got this painting last week because I needed to replace so I could take part in um, our themed month. Now here's the part that I don't want Debbie to know. I found the original painting. <laughs> She's not going to let me live this down, but I am adult enough to go ahead and admit that uh, it was in a place that I, yes, did look, but I didn't look close enough, I guess. I did go through, sorry about that folks, I just had to bring over a towel because my arm is sticking to the plastic and I don't want that. Um, I did look in my portfolio, look, 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 look. Didn't find it. Nowhere. Well, I guess I didn't look hard enough because it ended up being in the very back of the portfolio. I found this out when I got my items from Everyday E-Deals. And I was putting them in my portfolio. And... I had flipped my portfolio a certain way and <laughs> I got a glimpse of the canvas in the back of the portfolio through the cover. And I was like, no freaking way. Opened it up. Sure enough, there it was. Went over to my box of drills where I keep my drills and sure enough matched up the canvas number with the bag of drills. So needless to say I have that painting as well. That will probably be left for next year's hashtag summer fun 23. Um, but you know what? I ended up liking this picture a heck of a lot more. Uh, the other picture was adorable. It was of a couple of gnomes. And again, it said it's 5 o'clock somewhere because I run a crafting lounge and, well, I like cocktails. So, there you go. But um, this one... When I saw it on Amazon, I was like, oh, okay, so I'm getting to stick with my 5 o'clock somewhere theme that I like. Um, it wasn't the gnomes, but that was okay. It wasn't a deal breaker. I liked the parrot. I was hoping that the parrot would be clear. Let me tell you, I can tell right now before I've even laid a drill on that parrot that it's going to come out crystal clear. I like this company. 
H A O C Y. And I will make sure to um, leave a link in the description for uh, hopefully this painting and the um, the maker of it. Heosi is what I want to say. H A O C Y. Because let me tell you, this the clarity of the, of the painting is just amazing. I absolutely love it. Will not need a light pad at all. Right now I'm just doing this in natural light on my desk. So I don't think I'm going to need a light pad at all, to be honest with you. The picture is just so cute. I can't wait to get him finished. So, yeah. So don't tell Debbie, okay? Because she won't let me live it down. I'm telling you, if you guys join us this Saturday on her channel for our live, this will be the very first thing that she brings up. I am not even kidding. After we welcome everybody in and greet everyone and everything, this is going to be the very first thing that she brings up. Guaranteed. So don't tell her. Hopefully she will miss this video. And that's all I have to say about that. I do have the next couple of weekends off, which is a very rare circumstance. I did find out why today uh, my department head will be out of town training. So they've given me quite the sweet schedule for the next two weeks. I'm working Monday through Friday and I have Saturday and Sunday off. If only it would be like that every week, but it's not. I have to work weekends. Ah, the beauty of retail, right, folks? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that I went to, that this was a pretty full container of drills, and I just jammed the end of the uh, leaf tray <laughs> to the top of the drills. Look at how much, look at how many drills are in that thing. That thing is filled. So let's go to our next color. H is number 14. So, yeah, I can't get used to having weekends off. Not even going to try, unfortunately. But I will say this, they have been spoiling me with one day off every single weekend. And you know what? Not for nothing. I ain't complaining. Not in the least. Um, sometimes it's Saturday. Sometimes it's Sunday. Again, I'm not going to complain. I I appreciate it. So, it's nice to um, get away from there one day on the weekend. I I like a day off on the weekend. This way, I if I have I have two days off every week, and this way I can if I need a doctor's appointment or something, I can schedule it for during the week on my day off, and then I can have a fun day because most of my husband's and my friends are off on weekends. So, you know, we get to have a day that we can go someplace, do something, enjoy with our friends. So, it's been quite pleasurable the past few weeks having a day off each weekend. And I hope I get to keep that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Just because I like it doesn't mean that it's going to last, that's for sure. Again, retail. Don't get used to it because in a heartbeat it changes. So, the heat. Folks, this is getting ridiculous, okay, with this heat. I mean, I work inside of a building. Why do I come home every day with my clothes sticking to me? And let me tell you, I can't get into that shower quick enough. And I have to peel them clothes off, okay? And it ain't in a sexy way either. It is in a hot mess kind of way. Like, if I don't get these clothes off of me right now, I'm going to scream. And I've noticed that I've been taking cooler showers now because of it. So... I don't know if our AC is broken. I know that they were there last week to quote unquote fix the air conditioning. I don't know if it's because uh, I my department is right by the entrance door 
and that damn door is open constantly, which could be another reason why. But let me tell you what. Oh, gosh. I go through so much water now, it's not even funny. Um, so those of you who work outside, I commend you. I don't know how you've been doing it. Please stay safe because if I'm complaining and I work inside of a building, it's damn hot outside. So just be safe. Uh, don't forget to hydrate. I know my son works outside often and he likes um, Propel uh, powder uh, that you add to your bottle of water. He likes that. Now, mind you, he's not a water drinker. He never has been. But since he found this Propel, he loves water. He's been drinking water constantly. In fact, I bought a couple of boxes for him to keep here so when he comes over, he can have some because I'm trying to get him off that Pepsi. Not a, Nothing against Pepsi, but it, the, all that sugar and the, everything is just not good for him. So um, when, when I see him going to the fridge to get the uh, filtered water out, and I see him break out that box of Propel. It makes me very happy. And mind you, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Propel. But I just, I like their uh, product. Because if you can get my kid to drink water, oh, it must be good then. So, back to the meatloaf and potatoes from the other night. I'm happy to report dinner was delicious. Um, again, I'm not the cook in the family. That would be Debbie. But every once in a while, the kid will ask for something, you know, a special meal. And he doesn't, he doesn't ask for meals a whole lot, a special meal. So when he does ask for it, I am more than happy to oblige. And let me tell you, even my husband was like, whew, that was good meatloaf. Uh, needless to say, none left over. I made plenty of potatoes. I made an abundance of potatoes. In fact, I made too many, I think. But that's okay, because I actually took some for my lunch today. So that was a good thing. Didn't have any meatloaf to go with it, but that's okay. Had mashed potatoes and gravy for lunch. Why not, right? It's food. <laughs> it was good, too, I'll tell you. So... Yeah, that's about it. Just trying to stay out of the heat. Uh, when I come home, I like to just chill and relax in my craft room doing this. And watching all your videos, folks. Like I know you guys watch mine. Thank you for supporting my little channel. Greatly appreciate it. I think I'm at 80 subscribers now at least. And I will be doing another giveaway when I hit 100. And I think it's going to be a gift card to the winner, you know, the winner's choice of gift cards. Um, because as you could tell, when Scarlett from Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner got her uh, gift from me uh, for my 50 subscribers, the pens didn't turn all that great. <laughs> they weren't working. So I think it would just be better if I did a gift card. This way you guys can get whatever you just want. So at 100 subscribers, be on the lookout for a drawing. And I like the way I did my drawing the last time. I know Google has this thing that you can do the little spinny thing, and that's cool. But I'm not all that tech savvy. And I enjoyed having people... Um, enter for a chance to win and my husband participated by drawing a name I really like that so that's probably what I'm gonna do again just have him draw someone's name I'll write everybody's names down you know I'll I'll make the announcement and I'll have you leave a comment with a hashtag this way I know that you want to enter and because who doesn't like free stuff right and I'll come up with a decent denomination also and uh, give it a week or so so everybody gets a chance to enter. One entry per person, please and thank you. And then I'll write the names out on little scraps of paper and have my husband draw the name again.
trying to get him to join me on one of my videos. It's like pulling teeth. But I'll continue to try. You would like him. He's sweet. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. He's sweet. Um, as you can tell, I am a single placer kind of gal. I know it aggravates a lot of people. Sorry. Have yet to master uh, a multi-placer. Have yet to master it. Probably never will. Uh, my high, my hand-eye coordination is not all that fabulous. And again, Debbie will be more than happy to point that out to you in our next video, I'm sure. So that being said, as you can tell, it's not great at all because I'm getting these drills kind of wonky up there. Um, I'm going to end it there. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Today is August 1st, hence the reason why we're starting our um, Summer Fun 22 um, painting here. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button uh, and subscribe to my channel down there. And also, um, leave a comment. And I try to respond to all comments, so thank you very much. And don't forget, this Saturday at 3 p.m. at uh, Eastern Standard Time over on Debbie's channel, Debbie Gets Crafty, we're going to be doing another live event. You'll probably see me working on this as well. Um, we'll be dishing secrets and stuff like that and talking about growing up and and our lives in general and we would love to have you guys pop on over to Debbie's YouTube channel on Saturday, August 6th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another live chat with the twins, the crafting twins. And if you would be so kind as to um, join her YouTube channel, that would be fabulous. And also, please don't forget to uh, join our Facebook group, the Facebook group Sassy Crafting Sisters. That's the Facebook group that I share with my twin sister Debbie. And you can post anything you're working on. Right now, we're doing an event called Hashtag Summer Fun 22. So, whatever you're doing that's related to summer, something like this, a beach scene, um, you know, whatever, baseball or whatever summer fun you have going on. But don't feel obligated. If you guys don't have a summer vi a summer picture to do, do whatever. We're doing it in the summer. It's hot. At least you'll stay inside for a little while and, and relax in, in the AC. Um, you can paint by number. You can adult color. Again, it doesn't have to be a summer item. If you don't have one, then just do whatever makes you happy and post it over on Sassy Crafting Sisters. It is the dog days of summer after all, as Debbie would say, the dog days of summer. I love that. Um, thanks for stopping by, folks. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I've enjoyed having you here. And don't forget, what do I always say at the end of every video? Smile. Show somebody that beautiful smile that I know you all have. And say something nice to somebody. A kind word goes a long way, especially in these times. With that being said, I'm out of here. I gotta make dinner again. Gosh. I thought feeding people once a week was good enough, but I guess not. They expect to eat every day, so let me go do that. Thanks for joining me here, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.